Well, <laughs> in our family, we always have these funny little sayings, you know, like when it rains, it pours. Um, being that my dad's family was from Ireland, they had some stupid saying of, uh, you know, the luck of the Irish, meaning if you didn't have any bad luck, you wouldn't have any luck at all. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's been going on? The, I finally messaged the guy about my trailer. If you saw my, my video about uh, when things go wrong, and I messaged him, I hadn't heard from him for oh, about 10 days, I guess, and I messaged him and I said, okay, what's your thoughts about the axle? And he goes, well, I'm gonna have to come up there and take care of it. Okay, when might that be? Well, send me your address and I'll schedule you in. You're gonna schedule me in now, you've known about it for 10 days and now you're gonna schedule me in? So who knows when that's gonna get done. But, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm on a rant, that's all it is. I'm just on a rant right now. Had some issues with my truck, didn't wanna start. We could jump start it, start right up, no problem. Clean the battery posts, clean the connectors, start right up. A few days later, nah, no, that didn't take care of it. Went and put a brand new battery in it. The battery that was in there was two years old. So I went and put a brand new battery in it. So yesterday, which was Wednesday, today's Thursday, I was gonna run up to Kohl's or up by the, up by the mall. I wanted to look at uh, some items. So I'll add that on to this video here in a minute. And get the truck, run down the main highway, jump on the other highway and I, I start to go and all of a sudden, the dash, the battery light, a battery illuminates on the dash. Well, that tells you something's wrong with the charging system. What the, you know? So I turn around, the light goes out, I come back to the house, I get the idiot book that they give you when you buy a car, which tells you absolutely nothing except maybe don't drink the fluid in the battery. Uh, it's just a joke I've heard, so. <laughs> don't take that as being, you know, <laughs> truthful. Um, so I can't find anything in the book. So I run it down to my local uh, mechanic here that takes care of most of my stuff for me. And uh, had a little issue trying to explain it to the lady so she could write it down. So I, you know, she got the paperwork taken care of. I went in and I talked to him and gave him a rundown on what I was looking at. So needless to say, it was about a 4,500 step walk back to the house, which is uphill, downhill, back uphill again. The uphills are the tough, the downhills are great. And at 6,000 feet, you start off and buffing, believe me. Um, they call me later on and say, oh, it was code PO, I don't know, some number. And I says, uh, okay. And he goes, uh, fortunately, Ford makes a repair kit for it. Oh, this is something that Ford has known been a problem. Now, my truck's eight years old, so it's taken eight years for this issue to come up and it's Fuse 27. Well, I got online, started doing some research on it, and that runs the fuel pump. Hmm, okay. Maybe that was an issue we were having with the starting because we were cranking over and it wouldn't start. Jump start it, we got enough juice through it. I don't know. But he said the fuse was partially burned up. Oh, great. Chance of a fire. Go ahead, fix it. So they fixed it. I went down, picked it up, rode my e-bike down to pick it up. I wasn't going to walk back. So I went down, picked it up, and I was talking to him. I said, well, why would this fuse problem give me a battery light? He thinks because the computer was seeing a charging issue, uh, there was a, some type of shortage in the electrical system, that it wasn't, you know, it was just saying, hey, we got some issues here. <laughs> So needless to say, got that taken care of. Anyway, so I took a drive, today's Thursday, I took a drive up to uh, Coles to see what, uh, see what I could find. And uh, here's the video. Okay, where am I? Uh, started doing this uh, yesterday, but I had some issues, which I'll explain. But, uh, Coming over here by the mall. I'm gonna go in. 
coals here. I'm gonna see if I can find a new suitcase for a trip that I'm going on. And uh, yeah, beautiful day up here on the high desert. Whew, come off the mountain and it gets warm in a hurry. Okay, well, there's quite a few here. I'm gonna have to talk a little loud because they got some music playing real quick here. But they got all kinds of choices, but I really don't see anything I like. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I get one of those. We can try one of those real quick. But uh, yeah, I started looking at the difference in wheels. These stick way out. I don't know. I think maybe they might break off. These are a smaller wheel. I don't think they stick out as big as the ones over there. There's an American Tourister. That one over there was Samsonite. Hmm. So I always hear breaks. Somebody will break a wheel off. It's too bad I can't use a little one like that, but in case, because I'm carrying something else, I can't uh, carry it on the, in the cabin. So, unfortunately, hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to get online and see what I can find. Well, that was a bust. At least I got an idea on what I want to pick up. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. So now I'm back at home after running up there and I guess I'm going to have to get online and, and see what I can find. Um, I'd looked at them before and I was reading all the reviews and don'ts and this and that. And I just wanted to go actually look at one and see what it, see what it was actually. I wanted a hard shell because uh, possibly where I'm going, I might run into rain. My old suitcase is kind of a canvas and I really didn't want any of my, you know, the way they throw stuff around and leave it sitting out in the rain while they're loading, I don't know. So that was that was my whole plan. But uh, speaking of, of getting stuff from Amazon and UPS, I had an item that was supposed to be here yesterday. Hey, here we go again. It said by 8 o'clock. Well, about 9 o'clock last night, I checked the tracking on it. And it says, unfortunately, it's going to be late. Contact Amazon. Have you ever tried to contact Amazon and what a pain that is? And it went out at 6.15 yesterday morning. So this morning I get up, I take, uh, I take a look at it and it says, oh, it's gone out for, for delivery at 2.17 this morning. No, and they're not delivering it out at that time of the morning. I have a, a ex-neighbor that I talked to and who works for UPS? And he says, no, that just means it got back on the dock. They, they rescanned it at 2.17 in the morning. So who knows? Says it's going to be here today. We'll see. It's an $8 item. You know, it's not the idea of, of I'm in dire need for this particular part. But it would be nice to have, you know. It's just something I, I wanted to have. So I'll keep you abreast of what's going on. I may even add to this video later on. So I will talk to you later. Bye.